Hey, what's going on, everybody? Exhausted Gamer here. Um, I'm bringing you a video today. I'm going to do a place, PlayStation 4 hard drive swap tutorial. But first, I want to show you these two products that I picked up um, just now from Best Buy. As you guys may remember, that I picked up the Toshiba one terabyte hard drive, but I decided to take it back and um, get the hybrid SSD one terabyte for the PS4. You know, I think I think I can use the load times and stuff like that. I have a lot of games, so I'm going to need the the quick access to all the information on the disc. So, um, and then secondly, I picked up the Rocket Fish official PlayStation chat headset. I got this because I cannot use these right here. This mono headset that. Sony put in with the PlayStation 4 so it sounds good you get you can hear everything clearly when you're talking to people online but this is something I cannot use because this earbud destroys my ear and it hurts and they don't give you any padding or nothing with it they just give it to you raw the raw dog so to speak so uh, I got this at Best Buy for about I think 24 bucks so with the Amazon price savings on this the price challenge I did on from Amazon for this you know I that 20 bucks I saved or 25 bucks I saved went towards the headset so that was I broke even basically so alright I'm gonna take this out the box real quick for you before I get started with this hard drive swap so let me get this real quick old timer on deck careful Also, I want you guys to just um, hit me up in the comments below and let me know how your PlayStation 4 launch went if you decided to pick up the PS4. So just um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what games you're playing and stuff like that and, you know, what you're enjoying the most about the PlayStation 4. So I've, I've been on it a little bit. I, I decided to get on last night. I wasn't really worried about data and nothing like that because I wasn't doing no serious gaming. I was just messing around. So, you know doing this hard drive swap I'm not restoring any data alright so you see what's coming out of the box right here Let me put this down here on the side sorry about the focus the focus issues alright let me get this back in focus real quick here we go you see what comes in the box uh, basically a little setup guide right here so let's move that Let's go ahead and get the um, headset out the case, out the plastic. Well, keep it simple, stupid. The end is open, so I was about to tear open this thing, and I just didn't need to. So, all right, here you go. They got everything, the cables and stuff wrapped up in some little party paper, I call it. And here you go. PlayStation chat headset. I like this microphone because it's not going straight to the side of your head. It's not going wrapping around in front of your mouth, so it's on the side of your head, so it's not obstructing anything. It's not getting in the way or nothing like that. So you see how it looks. You can move it up and down, swivel up and down. So feel pretty good it's adjustable so and it has padding right here on the side for the side of the head so and a foam ear earpiece cover right here so this this looks like 
this will do me some justice versus having that mono headset and destroying my ears. So that's it for that. Let's go ahead and get up, get on with the hard drive unboxing. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this out real quick. Everybody's seen a hard drive. So again, if you're, you know, you want to know what hard drive I got, let me move this light back out the way. I got the Seagate SSHD solid state hybrid hard drive, one terabyte. At Best Buy, they have them for like 149 But if you do the Amazon price challenge, you should be able to get this for 109 price challenge. So that'll save you almost, you know, about 50 bucks right there off the top. So I recommend doing that. So here's everything. So let's go ahead and get this open real quick. Comes with just your manual right here and the hard drive itself Let's see. I think I'll take some scissors and cut this open real quick move this box out the way So here you have it, the hard drive, it has the SATA connectors in there, SATA 2, well SATA 3, yeah SATA 3 I think it is, SATA 2, SATA 3, um, let me double check that for y'all real quick, yeah, it's SATA, <laughs> just let's leave it at that, it, it'll work, trust me it'll work, so here's what you get right here in the packaging. All right, I'm going to set this off to the side, and let's go ahead and get the PlayStation over here real quick. Move the old man up, the old time out the way. And make sure, guys, I'm going to have a link in the description below to our site, CouchJunkies.com, for the, um, for the, uh, well, yeah, it's going to be for the hard drive swap, so... Right here you go right here is the system right here so what you want to do is let me get some more light over here where you guys can see so what you want to do is I already popped this off a little bit so I wouldn't be sitting here looking like an idiot struggling so I already it, it slides up pops off so you just slide the top piece off right here you gotta just be careful with it make sure you don't crack nothing it comes off smooth pretty neat All right, so what you want to do is this screw right here, it has the PlayStation button icons, the X, square, circle, and triangle. Your hard drive is right in here. So what you want to do is where my screwdriver go. Hold on a second, I just had that thing. Here it goes. What you want to do is just get you a Phillips head screwdriver, something like so. Just take it unscrew it set that right there and then pretty much after that you should just be able to slide your hard drive straight out so it's sitting right in this case right here it looks like you can you can probably get like this is a this is a two and a half inch nine millimeter hard drive so you might be able to get a 12 millimeter in here with no problem because you have if you can see you have that extra space right here up at the top 
So let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out right here. Yeah, you're going to have to unscrew on the sides right here. There's Phillip head screws. So let me do that real quick. Yeah, I've been people have been having problems with the uh, online this morning, but that that should be something to be expected. You know, you got everybody just getting their systems and Sony servers, and now catching the load balance. You know, trying to balance out the load with everybody hopping on at one time, downloading the firmware update and everything. People are going to start, you know, be on the features a lot, especially like with Twitch and everything and UStream. So, you know. You just expect to have some connectivity issues sometime. I ain't had no issue hopping straight online, but I did get a point in time where I was, you know, kicked back out because of the server load and everything like that. So it's not a big deal. You know, just give Sony some time because I guarantee you next week when the Xbox One come out, people that are getting this, that system as well, they're going to have some issues too. You know, that's just, that's just how computer works. I work with computers, so that's just how everything works. So... Got all the screws removed. Just going to slide this out right here. And you're going to slide the new hard drive right back in there. Let me move this out the way real quick because that's kind of bright. So slide it back in. Everything should fit. The screws should line up. Screw holes should line up. So let's go ahead and get this screw back in I'm spending basically freaking all day getting my place my PlayStation 4 set up like I want it so uh, you know everybody's out there gaming and stuff like that but I rather just give y'all guys some content where y'all can go ahead and you know learn what's going on and I also recommend screwing in like this right here just doing caddy quarter screwing just so you don't you know misalign anything or nothing like that so and then you don't have to torque them in there because if you're gonna have your system just system just sitting there you know not moving around a lot you don't have to really torque them around and tighten the hard drive in there you know so that's just something to keep in mind and you risk the chance of damaging the hard drive if you torque down the screws too tight Go ahead and get this one in here. There we go. Tighten this corner back up a little bit. All right, we should be set for the last two screws. Push the PlayStation over a little bit real quick. Make sure I just don't disconnect my microphone. There we go. Oh, it's been a long, long, basically 48 hours because I was at work yesterday anticipating the launch, excited about everything. I went on and interviewed a couple people last night while I was at the launch on uh, Andrews Air Force Base. You know, it was good to talk to some military members like myself and, you know, they fight for our country, we fight for our country and it's nice that they can enjoy a luxury as buying, you know, in buying a uh, next gen console. So, all right, we got it in, we got everything installed. It's all good to go. Not loose or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy sl slid back in here. Bring the light back. Take it, slide it back in. There we go. Make sure it locks in there. Snaps, you should know because the line, the hole should align right there. And just go ahead, put that screw back there. And screw it back in.
All right, there you have it. I got the hard drive installed. All right, now we're gonna have to hook it up, hook the system back up, plug the system back up, and get the firmware updated. So you, what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna go to Sony's website, we'll Google Sony firmware, Sony Play, PlayStation 4 firmware, and you should see a link there for the, um, for the, um, for the firmware download. I'll have that link in the description below. And then you just follow the instructions they have there on the page. It's pretty in de detailed instructions. So matter of fact, I'll put that link in there so you can follow the instructions. And th they also have a download link there for the 1.5 um, firmware. So, all right, be right back after I get the system hooked up. Sorry, I said I was going to be right back after I get the system hooked up, but I forgot to put the top back on, show y'all how to put the top back on. So what you might want to do is, I saw this on um, GameSpot yesterday, is that you might want to just come from the top end like this and just work your way back on like this. So just take your time with it. Take your time with it. Get it back down even. There we go. Boom. Simple. And me being the person I am, do the wipe down. Well, this bad boy shining. So there you go, right there. System with a one terabyte SSD hybrid hard drive. Now let's hook it back up and get this firmware installed. All right, guys. Exhausted gamer back. Um, so what are we going to what we're going to do now that we have already installed the hard drive? We're going to put the PlayStation 4 in the safe mode so we can install the PlayStation 4 software firmware. So let's go ahead and get that started. You can do that by holding down the power button for 7 seconds. All right. As soon as that's done, see that screen? And it should take you into safe mode. So now we have safe mode. Go ahead and hit the PlayStation button on your controller. Select initialize. OK. So we just wait, this might be a little process, so. All right. Now you have it, it says the PS4 will be initialized, all users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Just go ahead and select yes. All right. This whole process, process, as long as you're not having any issues, should take about five to 10 minutes. Um, I've been having issues, needless to say. I just had to go out to Target and buy a brand new USB stick because the one I was using, I formatted it. I used to use it for you know, installing Linux on different computers and stuff like that. And I think that that USB stick just has seen its days. So, all right, now the machine is going to reboot. Right now it's installing the system. Hold on a second.
Okay, so now, as you can see, it's installing the system software update. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this and bring you back up at the update at the uh, loading screen. Alright, the system just finished installing the update, so it's going to reboot now. It, this process would have been a lot easier if I would have had a, a good heart, a good USB stick, and the one I do have that's good. I got a lot of stuff I need on there, so I wasn't going to format it. So, so here you have it. The machine is booting up. So you just go through the whole setup process. Alright guys, Exhausted Gamer back. As you can see, we're on the home screen now. So what I want to do is go to settings and the storage and just check and see what we got here. Alright, showing 862 gigs. So I'm, I'm happy with that. There's probably a partition somewhere hiding so I can go back and fix that. So not a big deal. But everything looks pretty good from here so I'm just gonna go ahead and get back and set up my account and everything hope you guys enjoy the tutorial I will be posting all the links to everything I showed you today from the headset to the hard drive and then also I'll post the link to the Sony website where you can get the download for the um, for the system update well for the system firmware install so just um, rate comment subscribe check out the couchjockeys.com it's been exhausted gamer here as I, and as i always say keep it gaming peace